welcome to another video by LSX Engines Tuning Marine. I am, uh, in this video I'm going to test the uh, ignition strength of the uh, Thunderbolt ignition module. I have not replaced it yet. Um, I've got this spark, this spark tester device that I have not installed yet. And uh, the engine's running right now. It's just a tad rough if you ask me. But um, I'm going to show that when I put this spark test device it won't even start or it barely starts. And, sputters and everything so I believe the spark is very weak and uh, after I put in the new Delco distributor I believe the insertion of this device it'll show that it'll be much stronger. So I'm about to shut the engine down, put this device in the circuit and then try to crank it back up. Okay I've now got the boat running with the spark tester in place and it was hard to start and it's a little bit rough running. Keep it light. running but it's running very rough. I'm now going to shut it back down and see if I can open up the gap and start it back up. Okay this is the uh, third test and I've backed the gap out. The first test was with this device not installed at all. The second test was with it installed with the tip. That tip right there all the way touching that gold piece. So it's practically no gap to jump. It was a little bit hard to start and it was running rough. Now I've backed it off to the first blue, I'm excuse me, the first white notch. We'll see if it'll start and see if it'll run. Okay, now continuing with the third test. It's running, but it was very hard to start. See a spark jumping in there, but it's not a very bright. We'll see if it, let's slow it down to an island. Test and we'll back it out a little bit more. So this is now the fourth test. I've got the, the gap set at about the middle of the S. It's very hard to start. It almost didn't want to start. See it die right there? It's barely making it right now. All right, that was the last test, the fourth test. Uh, I'm not going to set it any wider because I don't think it'll even try to start. Um, I don't want to do any more potential damage or anything like that. So um, there's no point going any further. It definitely has an effect on it. But I'll put the new ignition system in. You'll see that it'll jump that gap easily. So this is a conclusion of the uh, before spark test on the Thunderbolt ignition. And uh, I'm now going to start the inst installation of a Delco um, Delco, ES, Delco EST ignition system to replace the Thunderbolt system. This video shows the after of the uh, change out of the Thunderbolt ignition module. This is now on the Delco EST distributor. And I started out on the widest, on the uh, setting where I stopped on it. The gap is now set to where the Thunderbolt was hardly start and run, and the Delco started on that at that point. So I'm going to try to tell you Okay, so it's firing on the uh, the dash just after E. It's firing on the dash just after E. I'm going to adjust it again and uh, make it even wider out past E. See if we can get it to start on that. This video shows the after of the uh, change out of the Thunderbolt ignition module. This is now on the Delco ESC distributor. And I started out on the widest, on the uh, setting where I stopped on it. The gap is now set to where the Thunderbolt was hardly start and run. And the Delco started on that, at that point. So I'm going to try to tell you. So it's firing on the, uh, the dash just after E. It's firing on the dash just after E. I'm going to adjust it again and uh, make it even wider out past E. See if we can get it to start on that. 
just uh, now made the gap even wider. It's on the uh, the uh, dash on the other side of the E, and it fired up and it's running. It's missing a few spikes every now and then, but it, it fired up and it's running. The Thunderbolt wouldn't even start at that setting. Um, I couldn't get the Thunderbolt to start on the other side of the E, on the other other side of the dash. So it's definitely a, uh, made an improvement on the ignition switching over to the Delco distributor.